In this video, we're going to talk about ROS services. Before we jump into the main topic of this video, if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. I have a bunch of playlists on computer vision, software, mechanical. This one's on OpenCV, ROS2, Python, C++, Git, mechanical design, SOLIDWORKS, and here's my GitHub that goes along with it. So let's jump back into the topic of this video. So services are used to communicate between nodes using a client-server model, where the server responses when the client makes a request. So let's go ahead and start off by uh, running two of our nodes. So ROS2 run turtle sim and then turtle sim node. And then in another one, we're gonna run our uh, teleop. So we're going to have ROS2 run, uh, turtle sim, turtle teleop key. Okay, so as you can see, our turtle is moving. So here we're going to do, uh, we're going to list out their services. So we do ROS2 service uh, list. You can see these are all the services. So under the turtle one, we have all of this stuff. And then all under teleop turtle, we have all of these things as well. So we could see the type associated with it by adding a dash T. So this gives us more details um, if we need to use that information later on. So we can also find the service with a specific type. So we could do ROS to find, and then you could pass in the type. So for example, if I want to do this one here, um, STD, and then SR, let me just copy that. So if I I copy this. So ROS2 find, I need to add ROS2 uh, service find. So you can see ROS2 service find, it'll tell us that um, clear and reset will have these this type here. So you can see if I uh, look through this, let me just drag this a little bit, but you can see that Clear has this type, uh, reset has this type, as we expected based off of the output, okay? And we can also see the interface, so we could do uh, ROS to interface show, and then the service type. So we could do turtle sim SRV, and then let's say uh, spawn. So you can see for spawn, uh, this is the output, you have a float x, y, and theta, and then you have the string name, which is optional, okay? So now that we know how to, uh, the details of that, we could look at uh, calling it. So for calling it, let's go to a new window, and if we do ROS2 uh, service call, and then let's say we want to clear, and then we need to pass in the type, so std service, uh, empty, you can see that it cleared the drawing that we had here, okay? And then now if we want to spawn a new turtle, we could do ROS2 service call and then spawn. And we'll have our turtle. You can see that um, here, let's actually change the location. So, or if we drag this, you should see it. You can see our turtle got spawned over there, okay? Or let's just uh, choose this location so you can see it more easily. You can see our turtle got spawned over here. Okay, so for that one, you can see the, out, the function argument is service call, and then your service type, and then here is the format of the, the specifications for what you wanted based off of this interface. Okay, so in our next video, we will talk about parameters. Go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.